All right, everybody, listen up. My name's Anthony. Um, I came here today to talk to you guys about, you know, what's your plan? What's your plan after high school? I went through a vocational program similar to what you guys are going through right now. And uh, it afforded me to have a great career, afforded me to have nice things and make money for my family, okay? I'm not here to talk negative about going to college or further education. So I'll say that disclaimer now, okay? I'm not here to say, if you guys wanna to go to college, you shouldn't go to college. I'm just letting you know if you don't, and you don't feel like that's your path, that there's a lot of stuff out there you could do. The governor of Pennsylvania right now said 92% of state jobs are not gonna require a four-year college degree after high school, okay? So there are plenty of career paths out there that do not involve just going to school, going to college, or stuff like that, okay? So just remember, anything I say about my experience in school or my experience with teachers, it has nothing to do with being negative about school. I say it all the time, your best tool in life are these two things right here, your hands, okay? You train your hands to work, it doesn't matter, automotive, carpentry, marine, electrical, it doesn't matter. You train your hands, I promise you, you'll never starve. There will always be somebody that needs somebody with good hands, okay? When you're new and you're young, what people are going to look for from you is not what you learned in the school, not what you learned in the class. They're going to look and see what is your work ethic like. You know, it's an old saying that's kind of cliche, but, you know, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. You are responsible for yourself and whatever is important to bring to that job. Don't, you know, just like they say, don't show up to school without a pen. Well, don't show up to the job unready to work. You know, show up to the job, be awake, be alert, and give the extra effort. You set small goals because you have to celebrate the victories. There are victories, and you have to celebrate them, okay? But when there are failures, you have to notice the failures and step back and look at why you failed. Was it because of something you did? Was it because you didn't have the right tool? There's always a reason why, and it's never a negative thing to point out your own flaws to yourself. That's how you become a better person. Just like people pay to go to college, you're going to get paid to learn, but you are learning, okay? So don't ever be so arrogant where you're not going to take advice from the people that have been there and done it. Because the people that have been there and done it, they've already earned their credit in that industry, okay? Because like I said, all the hands-on industry has a lot to do with your attitude and how you approach the situation. You are getting paid in the knowledge you're gonna learn in that class. And if you pick that knowledge up, I promise you that'll lead to better financial stability in your life. You could ask any tradesman, they'll tell you they learn from the people before them. I learn from the people before me and I'll teach the people after me. You know, so in this world today, there's plenty of options out there, so make sure you don't cheat yourself out of a good option just because at first you might not think you like it so much.